so in today's video uh, we will discuss about virtual work method also known as unit load method so the basic step in this uh, method is uh, we will put our unit load at the point which, at which we have to find the deflection or rotation and for deflection we apply unit load and for slope or rotation apply unit moment okay according to the question so this is the basic concept uh, that we have to know and uh, let me go to a numerical then I have a question uh, here I am provided with a roll in support and a roller support here the length being 4 meter here and a point load is applied of 10 kN magnitude at a distance of 3 meter from the in support and UDL is applied throughout the beam of load intensity 20 kN per meter and uh, the length of beam is 4 meter flexural rigidity is 2 EI here EI and for this also it is EI and the question asks us to find horizontal deflection at E okay so A B C D and E so this is the question we have to find horizontal deflection at E so for this uh, let me draw some figure okay the very first figure will be the primary structure okay uh, with a given question and providing the reaction that will be occurring R A R E and the given loading ten kilonewton acting at three meter three meter and this at four meter okay this is the M system we can say okay M system that is it consists of the given loading only okay uh, we can see H okay here this is a hinge roller support so it don't have any horizontal reaction but for hinge there will be a horizontal reaction so with this figure I can find the reaction okay I can find the reaction so for M system finding the reaction will be like taking moment about a okay moment about a is equal to 0 re acting in anti clockwise direction so it will be negative this 20 kN acting downward that will be a giving a positive moment so 20 multiplied by the span of udl that is 4 acting at the midpoint so 4 by 2 plus this 10 kN also giving a clockwise moment so 10 into multiply by the perpendicular distance which is 3 minus re multiply by this distance which is 4 meter so i get re is equal to 20 into 4 into 2 plus 10 into 3 divided by 4 so it will come as 47.5 kN upward then the another static equilibrium condition that is summation of fy all positive upward is equal to 0 ra acting vertically upward re also acting vertically upward at 20 kN acting downward so 20 multiply by the span gives the load 4 meter is equal to 0 so ra is equal to 20 into 4 minus 47.5 okay so we get 32.5 kN similarly there is a one force acting in the horizontal direction so applying fy fx is equal to 0 towards right positive we get uh, ra let, uh, we are assuming so ra is equal to 10 kN acting in this direction okay from figure also we can just do it so we have calculated the reaction 
that is uh, 32.5 this is equal to 47.5 and this is equal to 10 kilonewton acting in this direction okay so now we can calculate the deflection uh, for which we have to construct a moment table before that let me draw a unit load application okay draw a figure for the unit load application so if this is the structure you are provided with and we have to find the deflection at e so as i have said for deflection apply unit load at which at the point in which the deflection or slope is to be calculated so applying one kilonewton in this direction okay and it is a roller support hinge support so it will have both upward and downward reaction for which one kilonewton it will have a directly one kilonewton in this direction okay taking moment about this point a we can calculate the horizontal uh, sorry vertical reaction at b so for mi system okay that is this is if it is mi system then one kilonewton okay taking moment about a is equal to zero clockwise positive one kilonewton gives a clockwise moment so one into this distance this is span being six this four so it will be two one into two okay other no load and if we consider this rb dash so it will give anti-clockwise so rb dash multiply by this length span is four meter so is equal to zero rb dash is equal to one by two okay so this is the load acting in this point so one by two in this direction to balance this the reaction should be vertically downward at a so r a dash is equal to one by two so these two figure uh, and you can see the basic difference in application of load the given loading is not considered okay so, so this 20 kilonewton per meter and 10 kilonewton per meter 10 kilonewton is not considered only the unit load is applied and the resulting reaction are calculated now moment table with moment table it consists of some elements like uh, member okay origin limit and uh, m that is moment due to the m system and m1 moment due to the m1 system okay let me consider this as m1 system member a to b i have first a b b c c d and d e origin a b now from this portion i will consider from e okay that i will consider origin e because there won't be any previous load acting so it will be much more easier to calculate so considering e at this point for ori uh, origin of d e member and similarly d okay i consider d as the origin now limit 0 to 3 if I go start from B then 0 to 3 if I start from D 0 to 4 and this also 0 to 4 now forget all figure just come to M system okay just come to M system then what we see is in M system okay you can just draw a free body diagram okay to make you clear just make a free word diagram if I draw a free body diagram so I'll draw over here for this I have a un uh, UDL acting 32.5 from here 47.5 acting from here 15 kilonewton so 10 kilonewton acting in this and 10 kilonewton acting in this direction so a b c c d d e okay then what i do is taking a section x from a okay just taking a section x if this distance be x to this point the moment will be 10 into x clockwise so it is positive okay now start from b okay up to B this X will be 3 meter so 10 multiply by 330 okay 
plus now we are considering this x section from point B so tan 3 plus x okay so tan 3 plus x clockwise and minus this tan is also giving moment so tan into x anti-clockwise so tan x okay tan 3 plus x minus tan x similarly if we go now if we consider c as the origin for a city then we have to take all these points so it will be fake so i'll i'm taking d as the origin so before that i'll come from this point e and we see there is no any vertical or perpendicular force acting towards the member so the moment will be zero in de portion if zero come to this and what we see is we have a udl throughout this span so at a distance x from here okay it will be acting in this direction so going towards the left so it will give a clockwise moment so and remember if you are moving from left to right clockwise positive and if you are moving from right to left then anti-clockwise is taken positive so in this case it is clockwise and it will be negative so minus 10 20 kN is the intensity intensity okay 20 kN per meter so minus 20 into x distance and will be acting at the mid span so minus 20 x square by 2 okay now we can calculate m1 consider this section okay you can just draw a free word diagram for this also uh, so starting with a b there is a perpendicular member okay perpendicular member or sorry perpendicular force acting towards the member so it gives a clockwise moment to point b c d and e okay so it gives a clockwise moment one and two and x distance x so x one into x okay similarly this one kilonewton will now act okay a free word diagram will make you much more clear so let me take a free body diagram for that portion okay one kilonewton acting in this direction to balance this it will come here to balance this it should go towards right again towards left again towards right again towards at this this is a member okay b so it should be separated out so we get a moment sorry we get a force towards left again towards right and again towards left so in this way this figure is balanced now we're starting with a b c d sorry c d d e okay so starting with a we can calculate the force or moment so towards a up to x distance we get x now so you see at point b one force is acting towards and one force is acting away so it will cancel out so there will not be any member force so 1 into 3 plus x and at cd we are starting with d okay so starting with d before that let me come to de there will be a force acting 1 kN that is perpendicular to the member and it gives anti-clockwise moment okay 1 kN at anti-clockwise and as I've said moving from right to left okay we are moving from left right to left so it will be positive anti-clockwise moment so acting at a distance x okay so it will be x when it reaches to point d x becomes 4 meter that is so moment will be 4 kilonewton meter so while moving from d to c this will be 4 so this is the moment table now the next thing here we'll do is determine the deflection and for deflection the formula is let me make you a clear concept for deflection or for rotation okay delta is equal to 1 by e i integration of m m due to the unit load okay this m is due to the given load and this m is due to the unit load we have applied dx okay and using this formula we can calculate delta e 1 by e i m m1 dx okay so sum of all the moment so starting with a b okay 1 by e i will be common for all 
the limit being 0 to 3 and this 10 x into x so 10 x multiply by x dx plus so this formula okay now 10x into x dx for a b now moving to bc 10 into 3 plus x minus 10x we can cancel out 10x and 10x remaining will be 30 so 30 multiply by 30 multiply by 3 plus x dx okay from 0 to 3 again plus for the next member it is minus 20 into x square by 2 that means minus 10 x square into 10 so minus 10 x square into sorry 4 okay dx and the limit is 0 to 4 and in the final case we see a 0 moment so overall value will be 0 and nothing we have to do now calculate this using the calculator okay 10x multiply by x 0 to 3 and make sure to remember the value of flexural rigidity ei so ei for ab it is 1 for bc it is 1 for cd it is 2 and for it is 1 so in case of cd you have to put 2 over here because ei is taking uh, as a common so 2 has to be provided here okay so now 10x into x plus next is 30 multiplied by 3 plus x 0 to 3 plus minus 10 x square multiplied by 4 by 2 okay 0 to 4 so minus 233 0.16 by EI is the required deflection for E. There will be change in the direction due to minus sign. So 233 by EI acting the assumed direction was towards right. So the direction should be in this. So this is the way we solve virtual all of method. I hope you have understood it. Thank you.